the Vanquish VXT2 tires right here. The Three Brothers RC 4.9 anti-foams. These are a 4.75 spec, but they're a little bit tall. Guys, you're on the X01. It could be the final tire to go on this vehicle. Let's get to the table. I'm going to show this thing to you in case you don't know my X01. And we're going to get to the rocks. I'm excited. Let's go. There it is. <laughs> Check that out. Uh, pretty basic. Now, the chassis is actually by UGRC Lab. And I've also got their transmission, which uses Red Cat Gen 8 gears. Yeah, we got a Holmes Hobby Snub Nose 2040 KV motor. GT5 radio, Reese Triple Eight. That is an insane servo. Crawlmaster Mini V2 ESC. And look at this. There we go. Look at that. SCX 10 3 rear axle, Capra front axle. So, yeah, it's definitely got a little bit of a width up front than what's in the back. So, yeah, guys, let's get this thing weighed. This beast weighs in at six pounds, 0.4 ounces. Pretty much, it's a six pound truck. Time to get this thing outside and see what these tires have got. Man, I've got my hopes up for these. Let's go. Now guys, it just rained out here. Like you may see some rain drops falling from the trees. So traction may not be quite what it would be normally, but you know what? These things got to be able to run in all kind of weather, right? So let's see what they got. Now I'm really looking forward to seeing how these are going to perform. Granted, it's going to have to be dry for some of the stuff, but we're still going to give it a shot. The extra height, you know, it kind of, I think it kind of had, kind of hurt on the EXO a little bit, the ECTO a little bit, but, uh, not sure where they'll be right here. Let's go ahead and try to get this climb right here. You guys can see there's a little bit of moisture down in here right now. I'm going to get this back down and try to make that climb. Here we go. Now, you can definitely tell it just rained. <laughs> it is slick. Let's see what they can do, though. Nice climb, nice climb. There we go. How about a wet climb time? Just curious to see that's thunder in the background. Let's see what we got going here with the wet climb time. This thing has a lot of overdrive, like 40%. And it just gets that super easy. Just jump on the Super B. See what we can do here. Thing up over see what we got nice nice look at that wrinkle looking good oh come on crawl this thing I know you can get it there we go <laughs> now bump it go and bring it down the back side I did make some adjustments back here so it should be pretty easy to get Come on up. Okay, the tires are wrinkling nicely. They're conforming well. Um, really nice. And really, they're hooking up really good for everything being wet out here like it is. It's actually really good right there. Let's see if we can bridge across that. Ugh. Not all that good right there. Possibly my driving there we go got that Let's see if we can get that back end to come across uh, that back end fell right down in it look at the other side over here this pinched pretty well so back up oh. wow all that overdrive kind of hurts sometimes Get that to stay on top, which it's not going to do. All right, there we go. 
There we go. That was the line I was after. There we go. Bridged all that. Now we're up on the top. Let's see if we can take it to the left. Oh. There we go. I was about to hit dig even though I don't have it. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this wet thing done. So far, I'm happy with these tires on here. They seem to be working out pretty darn good. Got to get that front tire to really get a physical hold on that. All this overdrive is probably going to allow that front end to make the hook. Now, I want you guys to see something here. See the wrinkle? Hopefully, you guys can see it where it is physically hooking and just pulling like crazy. Oh, no. Oh. Got back in. Got a hold of it and didn't let it go. All right, let's see if we can try this again. All right. The back end's about to push the front end or pull the front end up. Yep. I can get this to go and make it. See, if you have dig, you can disengage the back end and make that front pull and get a good hook. But with the back end pushing on an obstacle like this, it really makes it difficult to get. I had a good hook at the start, but then it just didn't quite make it. Looking pretty good right now, though. Oh, I got it. Woo, that took a little bit of finesse right there and a whole lot of luck. Now, we've done the wet nasty quite a bit, but let's try to get on the wet crack of doom. Ew, that kind of sounds rough. <laughs> a wet crack of doom. Ugh, it is summertime. Ah, oh, nice pull right there. Nice pull. Yeah, looking good, looking good. Get this to drop down. Hopefully all that overdrive will give me a good pull, hold that front end in place. And here we are. Yep, got it. Bring it right on over. Through here. Let's try this line over here. Let's see what we got. Oh, oh, oh man, I almost had it. It is so close. To get up out of this with everything being wet, that would be pretty darn amazing. To get out of it like this, wet well, would be awesome. And it's certainly trying. Oh, it's so close. It's right there. I'm just going to end up getting a bad bounce and rolling it over. No! <laughs> no bad bounce. Got it. I want to try this. I did this really, really good with the Ecto. Really good with the Ecto. So I'm hoping to match that with Exo. go oh no let's see here get that front end you gotta get that front end to get a good hook right up on the edge right there now the ecto hung the rear axle this has got the portal so it walked right through that got it beautiful and for the last climb of the day we're about to rock twin ridges I hope. I'm liking the tires on this thing. 
they haven't seemed to affect the uh oh my but oh there we go there we go but see they haven't seemed to affect the uh balance of this one but then again it's got all that overdrive so i guess it's kind of still pulling itself down to the ground very nice well guys, what do you think? I like it. I like them a lot. They're going to stay. Going to stay in my dirty terrain. I got a feeling these are going to work out great. The open tread pattern. It's been mentioned that they're like a KM3. They don't really look like a KM3 to me. Maybe if the tread pattern was closer together, you know, maybe more of an all-terrain-ish style. Maybe. Maybe I could squint my eyes a little bit and make that happen, but to me, they're a much more aggressive KM, KM4 tire. I don't know what you want to call it. But anyway, they worked out pretty darn good. Made some amazing climbs. The three BRC anti-foams, perfect. The tires, the compound, everything went good. I did not notice any downfall to the taller tires with the X01. On Ecto, I think they really made a difference in the bad way as far as the height goes. But... Um, this right here, they're staying. They are staying. Guys, in that description, I'll link up the tires, the wheels, which are the Pro Builds, uh, the J Concepts body, everything. I'll link it all up down below. Make sure you check that out. A main eBay, Amazon, and Horizon. They are affiliate links, so make sure you use them. Helps out the channel. Hit that subscribe, ring that bell. You're awesome, and thank you all for watching. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also, for channel memberships, if you guys want to be a part. Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.